for sure. Dang. Shout out to, to, to whoever. All right, yo. All right, so it is Caesar here with Away TV, Caesar Gordon. Um, I'm here right now with Borak. He is a Ukrainian designer with his brand, um, Spider Files. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Hey. So um, he's here to tell me a little bit more about that, what that means to him, what that means for, I guess, uh, maybe not even what it means for him, but just about that, about where he comes from, and honestly, anything really. So, yes. Yeah, so, um, shit, I'm from Ukraine. I'm from a Western city called uh, Ivano Frankivsk. It's not really affected by the war as much, but it, like, you know, it's still, it's still pretty fucked out there. But um, I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is in, in the US. And I pretty much, I've been living here for about eight years now. Cool. So, like, uh, well, yeah. when, when did you move? When did you move? Um, 2012. 2012? Sure. Yeah. And that was. Um, was that, was that like, uh, like, uh, your, your family moving or was that like, you decided like, I need to be here. Like this is where things are going on. Um, so my mom actually lived here before and then my, okay. I was living with my dad in Ukraine and then we like, we actually got, uh, my dad got his visa or his green card and then we moved over here and then I was pretty much like on a student visa, visa and I was just like chilling, but yeah, I'm, I'm officially a citizen now. Hey, gang, yo, big U.S. citizen, let's go. <laughs> hey, let's go. Yo, so um, I say, like, how does, um, you know, be, being being in a place like Philly and uh, being, like, being from uh, uh, being from Ukraine and actually growing up in Ukraine, like, so, you know, not having anything passed down to you, but, like, having that and carrying it with you. Um, how do you find that that, like, um, like, affects, like, how you interact with the world, interact with, like, uh, like the different systems that you've seen in the United States and... Um, you know, especially like how does that like affect your maybe your approach to design if it, if it does because it could you could be totally influenced by U.S. stuff and have nothing to do with Ukraine. Like it, you no, know? like I mean, I'm definitely like hella inspired by like European shit. Like I fucking love Europe. Like I want to go back there eventually. I haven't been in Europe in years. Like since I came from Ukraine, I haven't been back, and it's hey, like sorry. it's been a minute. But uh, I fucking I fucking love Europe. I love Ukraine and. Like, I feel like, um, I mean, I don't, I don't really think that like, it's, it's really affected the way like I design shit. Cause I'm more, I'm more inspired by shit that's like going on in Philly. Cause that's like really like, like peak brain development. Uh, cause I'm only 19. So like, I've, I've pretty much like seen all this shit, like all, like all this like cultural stuff that happened in Philly. But, you know, it's, I still got, you know, I don't, I don't even know if, like, I could say, like, I'm inspired by, like, Ukrainian culture, but, but yeah, it's just, like, it's more, um, I'm more inspired by, like, my environment and shit. Like, I love fucking urban, urban, like, construction and just, like, graffiti and, you know, just all types of, like, stuff that has to do with the city. Right. Definitely. You're, like, um, you're just more about, like, I guess, like, what's, like, what you're actually kind of, like, currently in, so, so, like, uh, I'd say, like, actually, one thing I should ask you, instead of even putting my own thing on, like, it's not much for me to put on there. Um, I'm just going to say, like, uh, as far as, like, as far as, like, Philly and stuff, like, or as far as, um, not even, not even too much about your clothing, but as far as, like, you and stuff, like, what, what do you think that, like, there is really to get out of the United States as a European immigrant? Um, yeah, a place that was founded I, by other European immigrants, mainly from, like, Western North, Europe like not Eastern Europe or Central Europe but like what do you do as like a Central European really like like how do you feel like that like kind of a yeah yeah I don't know I mean it's hella different here like um definitely like a big thing about America is like coming here I like started to see a lot more guns and stuff like that which is like it was really like a culture shock to me but you know, I started. Yeah. I mean, was that positive, I, or was that a positive for you? Did you feel like, oh, I can protect myself if I need to, or did you feel like, oh, like there's a reason to protect yourself? Maybe that's not good, or like, at like, I mean, at first, I mean, like, like, I thought it was hella negative, but uh, then I started like realize that like, you know, America is like built off of guns and shit like that, and there's always gonna be guns, so it's like, like there. I mean, to like today, I believe that like. You know, everyone should have like a concealed carrier, like you, you feel me, just like some type of firearm to protect themselves because the world's really crazy. 
So yeah. it's not about you. Exactly. It's actually not about you. Like, unfortunately, the situation is like half the people carrying a gun are good with a gun. Like you actually don't need to lecture them or just kind of hurt their feelings. Like that would be the full expect, like full effect of it. Mm-hmm. You know, but like it, it really is about the other person that like needs to use that gun or needs to use that knife or you needs to use their fist to like do some other stuff. And like, you know, you just can't, you know, you have your own stuff and you know, you can't just you can't be a part of that. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't, you can't like help that guy out in that way where you just like get killed or get robbed or you know exactly. his victim because like he needs a victim. You know what I mean? Like exactly. I don't want to do that victim. way. Is what is that's how I view shit. Is I don't want to become a victim. But um but yeah, bro, it's like uh, also just coming here, like I, I live in like a really impoverished like uh, part of the city. Um, there's this part called Kensington, which is like it's like one of it, I don't know if it's the number one place in America for like the opiate crisis, but it's like it's really bad over there. And that shit like that shit really inspired, like not inspired me, but like fucking like made me who I am today because I've seen a lot of fuck shit like us, like fucking heroin needles people overdose dead like just a whole lot of fuck shit just like you know it's really saddening but it's like that's that's the harsh like truth of the world and you know it's like you just like see it every day and stuff like it doesn't really phase me anymore but to like an outsider like it's it's really scary yeah that is scary for real like i find a yeah opium is really blowing up in north america um really really for sure like um you know it's definitely the synthetics too that's what more like a more middle class people are using but like you know people are still going it so people are still using heroin and stuff i find um like you know i actually did a little bit of like research into drugs like over here um you know just kind of going to moss park and trying to find a zan trying to find a percocet or something you know just talking to people and um i found most people they actually i actually could not find one person on heroin everybody who wanted who Everybody was on, um, like most people, like that would talk to me, that could talk to me, were on uppers, like, 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 um, like you know, not even crack to be honest. Like crack is like kind of exclusive nowadays, but like usually like meth, like meth and fentanyl. You know, they call it down or whatever, and there's just like you know a little bit of the fentanyl pill, and like they'll smoke it or like you know nobody really snorts it, like you know with the you know it's like not the same effect, but like but, like they'll smoke it and. Um, but yeah, like that's something. Uh, um, I'll like I'll just say like from from Toronto, you don't. I have yet to see a person. Um, and, and dilated, which I've done. I've done. I've done dilated just to like actually try a thing that people do. Right. Um. You know what I mean. And um. And uh. I, I liked it. It was pretty. It was pretty decent. It just. But it's not. It's not like a perk. It doesn't get you lit. It just kind of makes you sleepy. Yeah. You know what I mean. So like you know I'm like, like you know like, I'm not used for this. You know like if I don't have weed like I five bucks like I could try it. I could do that. Mm-hmm. Um. But like yeah. Like, <laughs> I just stick to smoking and drinking. I don't get yeah. really used to it anymore. Yeah. I, uh, I have a uh, like the like spider files low key um, is a big like way of how I vent and shit is like through like making art because like it's it's really like the the place where I feel at home and just like making art is just like natural. There's like, like never a, a time where I get on Photoshop or I like open up my drawing pad and it's like. I have to do this all right I, like fuck man i gotta i gotta do this like no nah, i fucking i love that shit and like a, a couple years ago i had like a very fucking life-changing uh moment where i, I huh no no what happened what happened keep going, keep uh, going. Uh, even though i said what happened keep going yeah uh, so I took, I took like seven tabs of acid and i believe it was like 1400 ug i'm like a fucking 16 year old yeah. and this is this is definitely the most like traumatic shit ever like but um yeah like i saw i saw like really crazy shit like really just like just demonic like I, yeah. like satanic shit and just like like was um, it actually like full demons or like symbols or like or just like stuff that's like off like that makes you like feel entity, wrong like, like you, the met, you met an entity you meant like an actual full entity I never met uh kind of yeah like I had I had like my conscious also talking to me and shit but yeah. it was like it was just, it was just such a crazy like experience man. like I would bro, I can never do psychedelics again or any type of like hard drug you feel me what it, like what was I, I definitely don't want to like say that to breeze past it like like what like what was your experience like what did that entity if it did share anything with you like what did it share with you like what did it like so I was, or was it just tormenting you and just like it was just there and just like what happened 
like I was heavy on perks and fucking Xanax at the time. And right. I, sadly, bro, I never knew that Xanax was a trip killer. I didn't, I, I learned that like last year. Yeah. But um, I was like heavy onto that shit and fucking like my conscience was pretty much telling me like, bro, you're young as fuck and you're going to fucking die. Like you're either going to end up on the street or like some fuck, like some other fuck shit's going to happen. I'm, like, you know, and I, I had to learn that the hard way, but Hey, like, you know, I'm, I'm fucking I'm pretty much like sober now. I just be smoking. But I feel that. I mean, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I mean, like, you shouldn't even fear that, like, being on the, well, I don't know how it is in, like, the U.S., but, like, in, like, being on the street really isn't the worst thing, like, not having a house, not having a job, like, you're still a person, like, you can, you can do shit. There's people yeah. in, like, Louisiana that just, like, only live in the bayou, you know, and, like, don't, they actually just don't like being in cities, like, it's actually an option, oh, but, so, like, fuck whatever that thing told you that you just, like, you know, you'll die if you're homeless. Like, you only die if somebody wants to kill you. Like you're not, gonna, not homeless, but just, you know, like, you know, like, just, like, doing, like, fent and just, like, just getting into harder shit and just, you know, fucking on my life. Because I honestly realized, like, I, my conscience was, I, I believe it was my conscience. But, uh, like, pretty much what I got from it was that saying that I should change and that, like, there's so much more to life. And, that's like, nice. I, have, I have a lot in store for the future. You feel me? That's, yeah. that's pretty much what I learned out of it, you know? No, I feel that. I feel that to some degree. Like, yeah, man. That's like, what did, what did it look like, though? Is it like a demon? Like, they look like a typical, like, like uh, a typical demon? Well, it was just like, I, I, well, the whole trip, I was just seeing symbols and shit. Like, I, I was tripping off my ass for like two days, and I was just like seeing symbols and fucking like, faces and i would i would like try and close my eyes and like i would see sh- like fucking like what do what the faces look like the faces look like really fucked up with like lots of features stuff like um, rough jutting out at you like really aggressive looking or were they like was it like really uh, soft and smooth and like like glowing because or like yeah so uh they're they're really like sharp and jagged like types of they look like drawings i literally like right after the trip i drew i drew it out i don't i don't have it on hand but um somewhere but it's like i drew it out and i made it into a design but it's like that was like the most prominent one that i saw it, it was like this like it was, looked like a rabbit and it had like it was just like really like sharp and just like it just looked hella scary like uh, that's that's still like the best way i can explain it. i feel you i feel you damn bro damn but that's like yeah, man, that's definitely, like, something to, to know, like, there's a lot of different, like, I, I could tell you about my acid story, where I did, uh, I only did one tab acid, like, one, like, like, square thing of it, mm. and, um, it was actually, like, from what I can remember, it was a pretty positive experience, but, like, kind of belittling to me, like, in a weird way, like, um, or just, I don't know, I could kind of, like, see some of my, like, or, like, feel some of my friends kind of really, like, oh, he's on acid, and, like, you know, he never does anything, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, but um, I remember, like, one the thing that I remember seeing the most was, uh, like, uh, these angels. Like, I was in a tube, and like, it was this, like, you know, and I see these angels on these blue angels, like, 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 you know, and it's like this, like, a like turquoise blue, like, um, you know, not necessarily glowing, but like has like that kind of like the same shimmering of water type thing, like that type mm-hmm. of like, like, th- like a, uh, um, and, and it, I was just. You know, you're just like flying. I, I could just like like see, and it was like two of them, two of them. Um, like that that was that was part of like the visual parts of part of it, and like I just felt like I honestly like cop like I was in my bed, like at a like a transitional housing place technically, but it's just like you know you have to like work and do things to get in there. Mm. Um, and like yeah, like it was. I felt like I don't know. I felt like I was like just kind of hopping in a gen, like like experiencing it, but not but not even quite like that. Like I didn't feel like I was experiencing it from like a third party situation. It's just like you always want to be home and know where you're from. Like this is kind of like kind of slightly saying like like this is it. Like I don't know if you like it, but like you know like this is you know. And and I don't know. I remember that. I remember going to the bathroom and then like laughing and then like just hearing like like you know because you're always like you know you're never just alone. You're always like with your family, with your friends, like with like you know like whoever. I remember just like, oh yeah, like Dua Lipa's on acid. I'm like, why would I even know? Like, I, like I've, I've promoted a Dua Lipa video. I think she's good. Like, wow. 
<laughs> why like why would I know this? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like what does that mean to me? Like, oh, like you ain't on acid, do a leave on acid. Like that's also what that says to me. Like well, that's, that's that's rude. <laughs> but like, um, but yeah, man, like like that. And then that's that's like the first part. That, that's like the indoors part of the trip. Cause like I got the acid from um, I don't know, I worked this one shit from like wherever and blah blah blah. And it doesn't even really matter where I got it and stuff. Like I literally like made out with like these two girls or whatever um fingered one like sent her home because she was crying about her boyfriend in Edmonton I'm like okay like get in the back like, like there's there's one yeah. and I worked a lot forever and the acid actually started kicking in at that point so that's why that's relevant like it wasn't like I did all that sober yeah that's like, crazy. Like, a little fucked up but like mostly sober and then like um like you know and I saw like the, the fucking things like waving and shit and I'm like okay I'm high off acid I might not be able to be her like navigator in Toronto anymore like I don't know what's going on like that shit was pretty fun um what is it living in Toronto by the way uh honestly it's it, it depends it, it kind of depends but it's kind of it's kind of crazy it's it's it, it's good but like not like not like not the best depending on what you want to do you know what mm-hmm. I mean so like I don't know that's how I would describe it but like I, I want to but anyways like um literally like so like it's like you know that's the last a long time it's like five five like five hours right six hours mm-hmm. so I'm like I literally like I'm like you know I like go take a walk or something on Queen Street it's like the main like like uh like district for like you know like like just like clothing stores and stuff like that and you know bars and things like that so like I'm literally there like um and I'm like I'm apparently I'm talking to like at this point I'm talking to like the ultimate being or something the thing that like knows everything I don't know what that is I don't like you know what I mean but like I'm listening to this nigga I'm like I'm walking around um you know I had a this BB Glock I'm actually a really big gun enthusiast I always wanted to be a gunsmith growing up you know it's like it's been something that's really important to me um and like I had this problem where like I was shooting my BB gun but like the barrel is actually blocked I had a BB lodged in my barrel so like I was thinking like oh I have to like you know go to like you know the shop and everything and you know, get this lot, blah, 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 blah. And um, while I'm waiting for the shop to open up, I'm just walking around like the barrel for like a technic for like, you know, for a BB gun in my pocket, like, you know, like my walkies and all like wallet, not even my phone. And I'm just like, like walking around, I walk to like the, like, like, I don't know, like forever. And um, he's just kind of telling me like, the secrets to certain things. And and I, I know not the secrets that like, I'm like, I would be asking like, what's this, what's this? But like the things that he's just like, okay, you, like, you need to know this. Like, you need to kind of know this. Uh, you actually are interested in this. Okay, I'll tell you this. And it's 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 kind of interesting, like um, like what is it? I can't I can't quite remember, but and the worst thing too is like he was like like dying during the thing too. So like it was like something that was like actually like it felt like it was something that was actually alive. Like it was like like dying as I was talking to it. Like it was like not like allowed to like kind of I won't say allowed because like that's like a bad term actually. Like you should not subscribe to that to be honest. But it was like it was, like, it was gonna get it was getting fucked up for saying what it was saying. You know what I mean? Like, there's something like there's another thing that could put it down, even though it was this thing for saying for what it was saying, and, and you know, and it was just like saying like um, I never said something about wealth. I don't really remember what it was saying, but it's just like you know, like that. That's a certain concept that you know can originate outside of whatever. Um, there, uh, there was like something else, like um, you know, <laughs> uh. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the whole thing now, but like I took a whole walk with this thing. I ended up like um, it was like a an you know, hour, and like this was no, totally non-visual, by the way. So I'm just hearing, I'm like I'm not hearing either voices either, but it's like in my head, like yeah, I'm, that's good. like I'm like I'm like with this thing. It's like a full, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I'm trying to remember like some of the other things it said to me because it was actually like. It was really enlightening and I didn't really feel anything after. I feared like I didn't really feel much after. I was like, I'm not I'm not really worried about like, you know, and it's easy for me to say and stuff, but like what but also not, but like also watch like everything I said, like I don't know what to say, but it made me like focus on like my communication and geared to like something totally different than just making another person do what I want to say, understand what I want to say, or go where I want to go, or like. You know what I mean? It came geared towards like actually like like changing things like outside or going like outside of that like, you know what I mean? And like that's where I was like like oh this is right this is wrong not even like oh like a person might you know you know what I mean so, um, but I like the fact that like I never it wasn't anything like bullshit where it's like oh, uh, you know I need to you know do this or do this but then like I sound like completely insane or like nothing makes sense you know like yeah or, um. You know what I mean? Like it could be not what a person like 
and, and or not even like something that a person wouldn't want to hear or not like understand to hear you know mm -hmm. what i mean like a person can understand that and be like okay why is it coming from you though and then like you know that's their own thing that they have to like get through and then you have to like you know either sit down and work with it like put them through like a like maybe or some shit or yeah like whatever so um yeah but when I look at that acid trip, it was, it was definitely, it was just definitely really good. I mean, the funniest part to me was that like when I, when the store opened, like, you know, like, like 10, 10 a.m. And I go to get my bear on blocks and it's just like some random Irish guy that's like been through like a billion things or some shit. Um, and, you know, it must have barrel. He's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, cool night. Yeah. I'm like you're an adult now. I don't have to give a shit. <laughs> like, you know, and he's just like trying to teach me shit, shit that like no one needs to learn. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, mm -hmm. is this something that's like. And I realized like I was irritated about that. I'm like, this guy's gonna like what like teach me that like not everybody's your friend. Like, like what, what like what's the angle with that, right? Like it's just like that's like useless. At the end of the day, it's completely useless, you know. So it's just like, yeah, I talked about that experience with you. You don't need to like, you know, there's no need for me to be shorter after that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no need for me, like, you know, even if I'm taller after that and it's like annoying to you, like whatever, but like you shouldn't like there's like a little bit like there's a lot of expectations i think i also kind of noticed after that like for for certain things and i think that's what be be driving some of like the weird stuff and even some of the violence maybe now that it's like now thinking now maybe that i can link it to that but um i don't know that that's that that was me on that was just, that was me yeah, ash is ash is a life-changing drug dude I'll, i'm never touching that substance again yeah i would i would somebody else somebody gave it to me and on the same day like i um just like randomly like you know it's like like as like a security guard at film wars or something and i never even met this guy but he's just like yeah man i'm like microdosing acid or whatever i'm just like oh take some acid that was that was good last time but um i put in the same pocket as like this funny it was like a small coin pocket and i ended up like losing all my money and um i was like doing you know i was like going to this the same place i was kind of like you know like researching like like you know drug activity and i'm like but i'm like buying a drug i actually like doing so i'm like oh i want to get some perks because like you know they have perks there sometimes you know so i'll talk to talk to my brother and get some perks and um i lost my money and then like you know and i didn't know that was a thing you know to like go show up and lose your money right and the guy's just like yo now i feel disrespected well i have to sit through this lecture from like a drug dealer and i'm just like sitting there like like all right bro like you know like like yeah. you're not like i'm a more hurt one bro i could have got three perks right now like but then also at the same time maybe like he really wanted me to buy the perks and it's like what the fuck you know what i mean like, yeah, like i true. need you to buy the perks like you need to have the perks and you need to get the perks from me for that to like for that to matter that would be a thing so you know you never know you never know man like no yeah for yeah. real yeah man but yeah man yeah, that's that's for real. <laughs> yeah, bro, fucking acid, man. But yeah, a lot of my fucking designs that I made were like inspired from that trip and that fucking that moment in my life. Like a lot of shit that I've yeah, show, show me some of your uh, show me some of your designs. Shit, uh, they're all on my computer. I mean, like I'm on my laptop right now, but I got my computer like right behind me. I can't really just um, like. But if you want if you want to show me that or even just like if you have anything like actually printed like maybe just more than like, like this if you this right here this this is just spider files and then you got the little eye that like pops okay. over and shit yeah. little yeah. pocket detail you feel me i like that on the back there's like there's black text and um it's like uh it says spider files on there and then there's this like i had this like one old logo where pretty much it was like corrupted as hell. And I was able to like pick it apart and try and like bring it back, but it just like came back as like blobs. And that's what it pretty much like looks like. It's like, I'll show you again. It's like, hey. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck it. I like, the, I like the sheet here. What's up? Oh, no, no, no. I was just like, I like the, um, I like the luster of like the, of like the print on the back, like how it reflects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just like a black, like uh shiny, like a gloss finish. That's what it is. Yeah. But um, yeah, bro, my fucking my next drop is about to be fucking crazy. Like I'm I'm only dropping uh this this hoodie and there's an orange hoodie. It looks exactly the same as this. It's just orange and probably more limited. But uh okay. yeah, I'm just um like I'm working on a hella shit and like I've been uh so like my whole thing is like Spider Files Phase Two. And it's like I'm entering like a second phase.
because like everything is better quality everything is like more experimental and everything like sure. just looks cooler because yeah. before i was just making shirts and hoodies like i was never making like uh like crazy jackets or like pants or um for, for your wanna, in, in your shirts like what are they um like what's the main material is it just like like a regular wool polyester blend are you doing only wool are you doing only polyester um, um is, so is it, it's like you're um, either like gilded stuff or do you have like yeah like this, like before a, it just thing? before it used to just be like gilded like and then you know i like i i like worked my way up and like found like better blanks and stuff like that but eventually like i stopped and my homie like i've assembled a team for spider files now and it's my homie gasman Opa and opacity and opacity opacity put me onto this one dude from pakistan who hey. has been begging to work with Opa oh, my homie opacity for like a minute and hey. we finally we finally have like the actual like the revenue and or like the money to be able to like fund our projects and stuff like that so it's like it, it's like really we're making our dreams come true with like working with a manufacturer overseas that like using high quality materials and shit like that and just like and it's just it's just really crazy because we're leveling we're leveling up our brands and our images and shit like that like these these are really high quality hoodies like these these are so comfortable yeah. and I, I, I love I can, actually, I can actually tell this because of like your hoodie like even funny enough this gap hoodie um you see how like 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 right here and stuff if you see it like on this hoodie even for the viewers like if you see like there's actually a separate stitching um at the seam yeah and, and like another thing so there's actually a separate like i guess you could say like pocket that this hoodie string goes into and then you actually have the hood itself where this is actually just a hood there's a seam right there that's what's the hood mm -hmm. there um and like integrated into like the actual hood and the thing is just like you know the thing for the string right and yes. this is this is like thinner this is like a summer knit you're supposed to like when you wear this in the summer but at the same time um it's like yeah yeah these are gonna be fire for the winter i'm so excited i'm, I'm probably gonna release another version where uh the inside is lined with like a thicker material where it's like it's it will be like a really nice winter jacket but yeah. this is this is like it's super nice i'm i'm so happy with how it came out but um it's crazy. Like I, like I remember a couple of years ago. Like I, I've, like day one when I started Spider. Like I've, I've always had the vision to make crazier shit. Like I've always wanted to make crazier shit. Like before I was, I'm before I made Spider. I was just literally like painting on shirts, and like just like with acrylic paint and a paintbrush and just like on a Gildan shirt that I got from uh, the Arts and Crafts store. But that that's pretty much what I was making before. And um, and then uh, there's this uh drain gang and shit like that like i fucking i pretty much like started to get into the like the discord and and the reddit and shit like that and there's a a resource pack of pretty much everybody's like uh it was like a collect i don't know if like a collective of people but i th i think it was a few people who just like pretty much like just ripped assets from like anywhere that they could and just made like pngs of like drain gang uh type art and stuff like that and i i like took a couple of those uh like assets and just pretty much like screen printed them on a shirt i was just like fuck it you know and i was just like wearing them around whatever it was just, it was just for myself but um yeah it's like if if it wasn't for that i probably wouldn't have started spider like i it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy but um i i also what's it called um without my pops like my pops got me into like screen like i asked him like yo like can you give me a screen like a, a screen printing kit for my birthday and he's like yeah for sure like here yeah. it was like 70 bucks or something like that i was uh, bro i was so happy like i, I, I got right yeah, to okay. it <laughs> yeah, like, got right to it i was i was making clothes and shit and i was bro i was so happy i was like fucking i was i don't know like 14 maybe making clothes 15 but um at first bro like also, I was like getting hella bullied. Like motherfuckers was hating on me. They was dicking me heavy. Like are they hating on the clothes, or are they hating on like your vision or something? Um, like hating hating on my clothes and like the vision. They like they they didn't believe. You feel me? And it's like a lot of people really doubted me at first and stuff like that. Like I, there's uh there was like a rumor where some bull like fucking literally lit one of my shirts on fire or something like that. Like that went to my school. And I was like, damn, 
that's like what the fuck like that's that's some like yeah, crazy like, like, the only white kids that went to your school or something or like or just like oh this white kid from ukraine's making clothes and shit and he just you know like it's like just doing whatever he wants and like like, like, nah, it's like uh people like, people just be like like what like what are you what are you doing like your merch sucks bro like you feel me like shit like that like just just straight up dick eating and just just being like an asshole it's but it's whatever that shit ain't phase me i you know i'm still progressing no, you're a real one though. You weren't even like, that's the first one. Like, you can't do that. Exactly. <laughs> when you like, say oh. Yeah, bro. but the, yeah, there's still like a lot of people who was fucking with me heavy. Like, they even like with the shitty screen printed shirts. Like, some like people will still send me pictures. Like my like close homies will be like, yo, like I still have this. I'll be like, damn, that's crazy because it's just like an old ass piece that like I like barely remember making type shit. You know what I mean? So it's just it's crazy. I feel you. That's the best, bro. Like, um, oh God, yeah. Like, experiences with that. Like, I've made I made clothes before, but uh, I don't know. I don't have anybody being like, oh, about it. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, you don't really like, do anything to me. Some people can be enjoying my shit like forever, and I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like literally not know. But, yeah, literally, bro. I was at first. I was just making clothes for myself. It wasn't really like it. Never. I never once did I ever think about money. It like involved like or making money from selling clothes or some shit like that it was just always like for myself or just for my friends and shit and it's just like family uh that's like that's another thing that i see for um like a lot of people that start brands and shit like that but they just want it for the the cash you know they're just in it for the cash grab they don't really care about the culture and the shit that's like happening around it but um it's it's just like it's pretty fucked I mean, you gotta need those two though you need the, the ones that like come up like so I, I'm, I'm not really sure what the actual point for that would be, but you kind of do need those people that are just kind of like, oh, like, you know, like, I just, I just like, you know, I, I want to make a quick buck doing this and it's not going to be that good, but like. That's how you weed out, that's how you weed out the real ones. Yeah, so, and I mean, like, those are the people sometimes that might copy you and maybe they have a little more something than you and then like, you know, you see your shit somewhere and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah, I've, I've seen it. Like, oh, I took this and this guy's not going to do nothing. And it's like, you're right, I'm not going to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen my influence in people like there there's there's plenty of people who have like copied me and like copied the shit that i've done and it's like you know i don't really care because it's like bro, it's, you know, it's, it's different when you like walk by a storefront they used to shop at and then you see exactly. like literally the same design like, with a different person there and it's like also a woman holding a gun or something and it's just like like i literally like you if you follow me on Instagram, you know me you did that like yeah exactly bro just, yeah, that's some fuck shit. Like, 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 do you want to like go on a date and have dinner? Like, what are you like? What, what's going on? Like, <laughs> that shit was just weird to me. Bro. <laughs> oh god, bro. No, nah, but yeah, it's different when a corporation copies you. But when it's just like a like a person. But yeah, a, a couple of these people that like have stolen shit off of me. I'm not gonna even say it because like the beef is washed now. Like, I don't even care about it. But they they made money yeah, off yeah, of it. You can't say like, oh, like he stole from me without like, like killing you because like. Yeah, kind of like bank on that a little too much. And exactly, I don't, I don't really care about all of it. It's just petty because at the end of the day, I'm still making money. I'm still, I'm still doing what I love, bro. It's like I don't really care. Actually, like you know, before I even like, um, I want to say like, um, actually, I don't want to say anything. You know, <laughs> but, um, I was gonna say like, oh, how important is making money? But like, that's not the reason why anybody makes clothes or makes art. Like, exactly. No, I, it's not. Because anything, I wasn't yeah. referring to making money off of clothes. I was just, I was referring to like, uh, just making money in general. Cause I just be doing like other side hustles and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, it's like, you know, it's like, I don't really care, bro. You, you doing, you doing what you do. Like I'm doing what I'm doing. I, I'm, I love what I'm doing. Like, I don't really care. It's yeah. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. That's, that's how I see it. And it's just like, at the end of the day, it's like what a lot of people have told me is like, you, you have an influence on people. I'm like, shit like you're kind of right but it's like i don't know i don't want to i don't want to be fucking egotistical and shit but like i i definitely see my like an influence in people from like coming from me but but yeah bro it's like where do you feel okay where do you i say what is the best time of day to wear spider files at night. At, at night. night. Best, yeah. That's a nightmare. Mm, exactly. All right. Because a lot of I don't know a lot of a lot of the time when I'm designing it is at night or like when I'm outside it's at night. 
I'm barely out there in the day. Like I just be, I just be at home, just making like designs on Photoshop and just you know listening to music, whatever, just blowing. But it's like, eh, uh, okay. it's 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 more of like a night brand. I mean, so like you be like you be wearing spider files, you walking by a convenience store. No, you get it, you know you you get you get what you get, you know. I know I know people like you know you want to uh, back wood and like you know in a in a drink or. You know, if you're that person that likes like convenience or sandwiches, like you never know. Uh, you know, <laughs> then like you know, you go, you find a bike, you're like, mm, I got some bulk cutters, I'll steal the bike. <laughs> like you know, like ah, okay, I feel you. I see, I feel, I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, bro. Uh, uh, there's I another thing. Like a couple, a couple weeks ago, like that was that was hilarious to be like, I, I, like how's that? This like bed and breakfast. That's just like a like crazy shit show, and I'm like. This is like bolt cutters there. Like there's like a bunch of bedding. I found bolt cutters there, and I'm like, I know you can take bikes with these. Like I, I'll, I'll do that with that. And like I just like go there, like find this bike. I didn't expect it to be that fast, but like I know I cut the the chain on it, and it's like the guy like the thing that owns it. He's actually watching TV upstairs. Like he can the windows open. Like he might hear me. Um, you know I'm like cutting the lock, cutting the lock. Uh, it takes like maybe like two or three like chops to like like cut it off, but like you know like the first it doesn't go the first time, so I'm like, oh no, like did I do something wrong? You know what I mean? And then, like, yeah, like, I just take, I start going, like, I start going really fast as fuck. Like, I'm just, like, going, like, all around the, um, like, the, like, western part of, like, downtown and stuff. Like, you know, um, you know, I ride to, like, this convenience store that's, like, open, like, 24 hours, but I'm not, like, like, thinking about that. I'm just, like, kind of, like, tapping upon it, like, stuff. I'm not, like, oh, it's nice. Um, get, like, some good soda. It's, like, riding all the way to, like, 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 east side downtown, like, a little bit. Like, what's these, like, kind of matter to me. I'm, Surprising using those terms even, but um yeah, man, like that was I know I could have done that in spider files. Big backs. <laughs> that's a that's 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 the type of type of stuff. I mean like I don't know, maybe like maybe like 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 shooting people in your clothes, like I don't know, but <laughs> uh graffiti. I, I could take them like depending on like who they're shooting, but whatever. <laughs> Not bro. My my clothes my clothes are uh Maybe for people who commit crimes and shit like saying like, no, I'm playing. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, I love seeing when people do graffiti in my clothes. That shit's insane. I fucking, I, I'll see like people that I was inspired by do graffiti in my clothes. And it's just like, damn. Like, oh. if, uh, have you ever heard of uh, that's, five that's that's me too. I like I like people that like make more art after I post them. Like I posted some artists and they're just like, yeah, like I fuck with this and they'll make like a different type of music after. Like there's this girl like, you're from France and made like a whole rage album or just like in French. Really? And so like like inspired by E and stuff. Like maybe not like completely me, but like you know, we thought like she's important to the thing. And she had this whole album that was actually like fire. You know what I mean? And like she like comes from like this like like something that like is actually quite com- hard to comprehend in North America, just like the type of like class that it would be if you even would call it a class. So it's like it was actually like quite special. It's like you think like chandeliers and like I don't even know what this is and like why is that Barcadies van so big and like like like, like it was like it's like it's like crazy shit to me like, yeah. like like yeah she's really cool she's really cool uh, I don't know but like and it ain't even just her like it's a whole thing like there's a whole movement a whole movement out there really yeah. I definitely uh, I'm trying to like connect the wires and link that up and I feel like I have but um I may never get the credit for that or something but like you know but like I feel like I have but like. I don't even know. 